Hey everybody, it's Gavin. I'm uh, outside our campsite here, just outside of Grand Canyon. And uh, I'm gonna try and kind of take it easy tonight, but I'm planning this exposure that uh, there's this really cool tree right out here. And I'm, I wanna do a really, really long night exposure. Uh, so I'm getting set up for it in advance versus trying to do it in the dark with the uh, techniques for making exposures and trying to figure out composition. I'm really planning this out. So this cool tree here, tons of character. And what I'm thinking, first of all, I've analyzed it from every angle. I think this angle has the most developed character because it has a, uh, it, it, it seems straight, the trees actually look crooked, so you get more of a straight perspective from this way. I like the background, and we should get, you know, stars going across here. I'm thinking maybe my longest exposure ever, maybe two or three hours. Plan on shooting at around ISO 100 to keep the noise as low as possible. And then uh, I've got the, the TSE 24 millimeter tilt shift. So I'm really trying to take my time really analyzing what I'm doing. I'm going to shift the lens a little bit upward to compensate for the angle. So it kind of makes it look like I'm looking straight on. And uh, I'm going to use the tilt on the lens for that. And this lens is tack sharp, so I love using this lens whenever I can. But my plan is to get this all set up in every possible respect so it's ready to, to meter and push the button. I may have to do a couple of test exposures to determine how long I want to go for, but uh, it's cool because it's, you know, the camp home is right over there tonight and uh, I can come right out here and start this thing up and just leave it for as long as I want, lock on that cable release. And this is going to be interesting. We'll see how this works and uh, really trying to take my time. I mean, I'm looking for one exposure that's really good out of this. So if I take my time and take it slow, I think that's going to help me out. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, stay tuned to f164.com if this comes out and looks good. You'll see it there. All right, later.